Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all of my tips on how to treat a high blood sugar as quickly as possible. First things first, I'm really sorry if you can hear, I think my neighbour is trimming his hedge or something, so there might be a bit of background noise and I'm really sorry about that. I hope it's not too distracting. But yeah, let's just get into the video. So obviously we're all trying to avoid high blood sugars as much as possible, but obviously sometimes they are unavoidable and sometimes they just creep up on us. So it's handy to have a few tips and tricks in the bag that you can use for when this does happen. That is really important when you have a high blood sugar is to drink a lot of water or something sugar free like squash. So it's really important to do this throughout the day to keep hydrated because being dehydrated can actually cause a high blood sugar in the first place. But if you have gone high then taking a big drink of water with your insulin will massively help to bring it down a lot quicker because the liquid will dilute the blood which means less sugar per unit of blood and which means basically a lower blood sugar so yeah drink up so if you follow my Instagram, you will know that one of my goals for isolation has been to get better at handstands and kind of gymnastic-y things. So one thing I've been really enjoying doing recently, if I've gone a bit high, is to do 10 to 15 minutes of handstand practice. It may look like you're just turning yourself upside down, but honestly, it is a lot more tiring and exhausting than you would think. So just 10 to 15 minutes really helps me bring down a high blood sugar just that little bit quicker. <laughs> like going on the Wii Fit if you have one or just dance, just doing a little five minute ab workout from YouTube or doing a few minutes of push-ups or whatever it is, some kind of like exercise that's a short duration of time that is just going to help the insulin get to where it needs to go and work as quickly as possible. If you're sedentary for a really long time, it can take a bit longer for the insulin to kick in and then your high is gonna take longer to come back down. My go-to for if I'm high before a meal is to get up and do 50 body weight squats. After I've done my insulin, I'll get up, do the squats straight away, and normally it gets my insulin working just a bit quicker so I don't have to wait around quite so long before I can start eating. Obviously, I still do wait before digging into my meal until my blood sugars are coming back down, but like I said, doing the squats gets me there a bit faster, and when I'm hungry, that's all <laughs> I'm aiming for. <laughs> one for those pesky evening highs or pre-bed highs. I like to get up and go for a walk because there's nothing more relaxing than going for a little stroll. Before I'm going to bed, the last thing I want to be doing is getting up and doing 50 squats or a load of handstands that are going to get me really energised. Going for a walk calms the mind and also helps get the blood sugars down. It works a lot quicker than you think and is actually one of my favourite things to do to treat a high blood sugar. A tip that might not be so appealing but is actually really effective is getting some housework done. Hoovering brings down my blood sugar super super fast and I guess you could say you're getting two jobs done in one even if neither of them are so appealing. Also, side note, I look really incompetent at hoovering but I promise I'm not. My dad just bought a super thick brand new carpet and it's impossible to move anything along it. Please don't judge my housework skills by this video. <laughs> And one final thing you can do is inject into a muscle or a body part that you have just trained. So if you've done a arm day, if you inject into the arm, the insulin is going to absorb a lot quicker. Now I would only recommend doing this if you are sure of what you're doing, particularly if you're injecting into muscle. So 
Injecting into muscle will mean that the, ex it, the, 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 the <laughs> will mean that the insulin is absorbed a lot more quickly, but that also means it won't last as long as normal. So if, for example, you're high an hour and a half before your dinner, and normally you would take that insulin into account on your next injection, just be a bit wary because there may be less insulin still left on board if you've injected into muscle because it is in, um, absorbed so much quicker and so then it's used up a lot more quickly um but yeah i personally like to inject into a body part that i've recently trained if i'm a bit high in the meal after training just because it brings down the high a lot quicker than it would if you injected elsewhere so that is all my tips for bringing down those pesky high blood sugars as quickly as possible please let me know in the comments below if you have any of your own tips because i would love to include them into my selection <laughs> um because sometimes it can get boring doing the same kind of corrections over and over again but yeah if you want to see how i include these into my day-to-day -day life then check out any of my day in the life of a type 1 diabetic vlogs annoyingly somehow whenever i film those my blood sugars seem to go higher than normal so it looks like I'm high more often than I actually am in real life if you watch them you probably won't believe me <laughs> but it's true so there are plenty of high blood sugars on my day in the life of a type 1 diabetic if you want to go and check those out that is it for today's video I hope you guys have fantastic days and I'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>